हेलो गाइस वेलकम सर टुडे टॉपिक इज हाउ टू यूज आर्टिकल्स करेक्टली यू नो ऑलरेडी दैट देर आर थ्री आर्टिकल्स ए एन एंड द द इज अ डेफिनेट आर्टिकल वाइल ए एन एन आर इनडेफिनेट आर्टिकल्स नाउ टुडे आई विल टेल यू वेयर दीज आर यूज एंड वट जनरल मिस्टेक दैट स्टूडेंट डू I'll tell you the examples and real cases uh, that have come in exams. See, uh, there are certain examples uh, I have of indefinite articles a and n. Examples you can see here in first example. See, read it out. He has a big house. This is very simple. She lives in an urban society. He is a European. Rahul is an honest person. So, what did you find? The first one is very simple. He has a big house. A is used because there is a big. Uh, second, she lives in an urban society. You, you've been told in your school that we have to use uh, n. You have to use n when the word starts with a, e, i, o, a u. You've been told this in your whole school life, and this is wrong. We don't use a, e, i, o, u. Oh, we don't use n before the words when the words start with a e i o u. It's been told in school that is totally wrong. Actually, we don't have to see. You see, on the third third example, we use he is a European. The European. This word start with e. Still, we use a. Similarly, in example number four, Rahul is an honest person. The word honest start with h, and still we use. n why because the rule is not this let me tell you the rule a and n is used before singular noun the choice between a and n is determined by the first sound of pronunciation of the word see guys see students here first sound of pronunciation so you have to see first sound of pronunciation of word and not by the first letter of the word this is the wrong concept that's been told to us throughout the school i've seen in many schools they teach like this so first sound of pronunciation you have to pronunciate the word and then you have to see how the pronunciation is if pronunciation is of vowel then we have to use n see if the pronunciation is vowel then we have to use n and if the pronunciation is not vowel it's a consonant then we have to use a so this is the rule right so there are several other examples like uh, in example 3 you see he is a european how the european is written in hindi it's european i am writing here for you in hindi european it's a u ya ya is not a vowel so we use a similarly rahul is an honest person how the honest is written in hindi honest you write it like this honest now the first pronunciation is a a is a vowel that's why we use n got it i hope you get it so you have to use like this there are several students who make mistake while using this so uh, let me show you a few other examples there are a lot of examples see here n r this is r it is start with h but pronounced as r a one rupee note a uniform a young man so these are certain examples where people make mistakes several times a one rupee note it's a one it is start with o but the pronunciation is one that's why we use a a uniform same a university also is an example of that a husband it's a simple it start with h and pronunciation is husband ha that means a is good n m l a yes this is very important here i have seen the students make lot of mistakes it's an m l a students think that it start with m that's why we should use a no you should never use a before an m l a or m p like this right why because m how m is pronounced m is pronounced as this, this m so it starts with a that's why we use n before an m l a a us citizen again it's opposite of that it's here is written u but we use a because it's a us ya yeah, ya yeah is not a vowel a year a historic event nmp nmp is again similar to like an mla same 
an honest man is similar an arm an honest man a forest a useful feature an umbrella an honorable moment a union so these are examples you see guys so how do we use these indefinite articles a and n so this is uh, you don't have to use a or n by the first letter of the word you have to use a or n by the pronunciation of the first letter of the word okay now now we will study about the the is a definite article now the is used in several areas there are many areas where the is used so now we see where the is used let's see few of the rules number 1 when you see a sentence or a paragraph where a word is already used earlier then we use the in example i have seen i have shown you a example here see she saw a child smiling now the second sentence the child was having a bag with him see these two sentences number 1 she was she saw a child here child is written as a child and next the child was having a bag with him so here you see student a child when the child is mentioned first time we don't know who the child is now in next sentence now we know the child here is the same child that has been mentioned in the first sentence so the subject the noun or the person or thing has been mentioned already here that's why we use the child so rule says while the person or thing or noun is already referred to or when the thing referred is understood when is understood i will tell you the example of this understood say when you see a, a sentence where the when you are already talking about something and you speak some sentence and the sentence relates to the previous then subject or the person is already understood then you use the instead of a now in the next sentence the child was having a bag look at this a bag we don't know which bag is this the first time the bag is mentioned that's why a is used now the bag contained toys this the bag now this has been referred already here in the earlier sentence that's why we use now here the bag okay now you got students all right now second rule when a singular noun is meant to represent a whole category or a class see when we use a subject or a noun and that noun represent a whole category see the example the dog is a faithful animal now we say dog is usually a faithful animal right now the dog the dog doesn't mean only one dog that is residing in your locality here the dog means every dog is uh, here we can say it differently all dogs are faithful animal so instead of writing that all dogs are faithful animals we have written the dog is a faithful animal okay now say if i write cows cows give us milk instead of this we can write it like cow the cow the cow gives us milk both the sentences same meaning cows give us milk and the cow gives us milk here the cow is referred to as whole category okay so next we see next example the is used with the names of renowned unique places like river ocean thing stars and special uh, monuments or some big thing i mean the thing that everybody knows then we use the before that see an example here the sun rises in the east we all know that what is sun that's why we use the sun there is only one sun here in our solar system right sun rises in the east here again the east we know that there are only four directions and east is one direction right and similarly you can see the taj mahal there is only one taj mahal in world the earth everybody knows what earth is the sky there is only one sky the ganga river there is only ganga or the only one ganga river similarly uh, we use renowned things renowned person renowned here here uh, re, uh, just you know you have to take care only one thing 
when we say renowned person when we use the name of person that is proper noun and before proper noun the is not used say if i say say barack obama so we will not use the before barack obama although barack obama is a renowned person but it is a proper noun it's a proper noun we will not use the before proper names right we can use the if we say the president yes before president the can be used before president the is used the president or the prime minister all right students next rule the is used before superlatives do you know the uh, comparative and superlative degrees of adjectives when we what are adjectives i will tell you in later classes what are adjectives till the time you just see the example you've seen uh, these degrees like uh, good better best good better best similarly say large larger largest so these are degrees of adjectives good means if you say if i tell you in hindi good means acha better better is used to compare two things when first one is better than the second one then we use better third is best best means which is among all which is best among all best is a superlative degree so whenever we use superlative degree we use the before superlative degree he is the best student in class next china is the most populous country in the world the most populous it means there is no other country that is having more population than china right now now i will tell you the exam question there are certain type of question that come in exam like filling the blanks and spotting the errors where they ask questions on uh, these articles so here we see first example see you can read here spotting the error type of questions come with multiple choice where you have five things like in starting four you have to choose where there is a error in which part of the sentence and if there is no error then you have to select option 5 he went there a hour ago with his mother here you can see simply there is written a hour and this is wrong i've just told you you have to you don't have to see the first letter you have to see the pronunciation of the first letter r it is pronounced as vowel then it should come n r right it is very simple but let me tell you one more thing see first see example uh, second the teacher called a last boy standing in the queue to sing a song no errors here you see students you know that we are currently doing and studying the chapter articles that's why we are focused only on articles area but when actually the spotting the errors question come in the exam we don't know where the error is and error may be related to articles conjunctions phrases and tenses verbs adverbs and even few other areas as well so you don't know uh, the error is related to articles or not but here it is simple to know because we are here studying articles so you can directly see the articles so it's easy for you to choose right now so here the teacher called a last boy is standing in the queue here we know that in the queue last boy in the queue is known obviously there is a limited number of population and we are talking about that boy here is the person which is understood already the last boy in the queue so there will be only one last boy in the queue and that last boy we are referring to that last boy so here a will not come here it is definite article so there will be the last boy because we are sure that which queue we are talking about and which boy we are talking about the teacher called the last boy standing in the queue to sing a song okay so error here is in part number 2 now see the next the mahatma gandhi was also called bapu by the people of india here you see mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi is the name of person name of person it's not a designation 
it's a name of person it's a proper noun and i told you in rule before proper noun we do not use any article article will not be used so the sentence will be mahatma gandhi was also called bapu by the people of india okay here our last example in order to claim a tax benefit you have to submit the fixed deposit receipt issued this is a little bit of error it should be issued issued from the bank so here you see in order to claim any tax benefit you have to submit this is a exact exam question this is live and original exam question it had come in 2011 exam in order to claim any tax benefit you have to submit the fixed deposit receipt issued from the bank if you want to take if you want to take tax benefit then you have to submit the fixed deposit receipt so here you see it is written that any tax benefit can you claim any tax benefit no it's not any tax benefit you cannot claim any tax benefit you can claim the tax benefit that you are entitled to take if you submit that fixed deposit receipt then you will then you can take a tax benefit so here it will come in order to claim a tax benefit you have to submit the any will not come right issue from the bank so that's how you do so this is our topic about articles i'll give you further uh, exercise uh, with solutions that you have to practice so that you will be good at this articles area right so that's it students for today thank you